As the founder of Kiko Technology, I'm very pleased to meet you two gentlemen. Let me introduce here Mr. Virat Kiendrinsubi, who is the owner and operator of very large agriculture and aquatic operations in Thailand. And the gentleman over to my right is Dr. Joshi from the Joshi Research Institute. He is from India. And these two gentlemen will describe some of the practical applications of Kiko technology in the agriculture and aquatic industries here. Uh, turn to you, Mr. Vida, first. Uh, give me a history. How did you find out about Kiko technology and what's your, some of your early experiences with the product? My daughter brought me uh, you know, this literature when she came back from her meeting. And she said, you know, this is something new. Dad, you have to look. So I went through this thing. You know, after I went through this thing, I told my daughter straight, I want to meet the, you know, the person who gave you this uh, paper, see what I can uh, do. I like the product and I want to make use of it. And so we did eventually meet and uh, the explanation was quite technical, quite scientific. Did it satisfy you? Well, uh, yes, uh, up to a certain limit, because as I say, you know, many times people can talk. Whether it works or not, I don't know. I have to try it by myself, then, you know, I say yes or no. Okay. What were your first experiences using Kiko technology? After I came back from Hong Kong, you know, uh, I got some stuff there. Start working with my, in my farm on the wheat grass. Then, after one week, I know immediately something is, you know, going on. Not, not even one week, within three days, I know already what's going on. What, what, what was this going on? That, that you observed? The first thing I saw is that the root of the wheatgrass in the control bottle and in the, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, wheatgrass, I mean this uh, Kiko stone water, the one in the Kiko stone water showed nearly double length of the control water. That's within three days I realized that. Then after that, within one week, you know, big difference is found. Okay, I am, when I went to the farm, you had three trays stacked. Yes. Top, bottom, yes. and lower. Can yes. you please describe what you saw as, as right, the operator? Right, right. Uh, you see, after that trial, then we make uh, the real you know, uh, trial in the farm. Usually, the top layer is more green because the light is from up there. The second layer is not as green, less green. The, the lower layer, comes out pale color. But after using the Kiko water, all three layers of the same color, all green. So is it fair to say that through that application, you saw more yield of the wheatgrass, a, a slightly sweeter one, a stronger fiber strength, definitely a longer root structure. Is that a pretty valid comment after your work? With Let's put it uh, like this. Uh, after making uh, the trial, we realized there's more than 20% increase of the production. I would say it could be even 30, you know, increase by weight, you know. So from there, the taste, of course, is much better. The free content, the color is better. So at least these three points satisfy us. Okay, so that's just one experiment. You yeah, did yeah, a yeah, second yeah. one with aquatic plants. Oh yeah. And if your operation is a very, very large <laughs> one with several thousand ponds growing we, aquatic plants. Right, right. We, we, we have been in aquatic plant business since 35 years, 40 years. So I tried it in my aquatic plants. We, we find them growing much faster than the normal ones. The greens are deeper green, the red is deeper red, you know, whatever. And then in November, uh, over the past four months, you also used Kiko technology for the rice fields. Yes, Can I you did. you please uh, describe those experiences and the results? First impression for me in the rice field is that after I put this, you know, this tube, in the center of the field, within three days, the color of the field changes from pale color until green color. After one week passed by, more green. Then after 17 days, I pull out 
the ones from control and from the, 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 the this uh, eco water, the one from the control is the one from the eco water is the at least twenty to thirty percent bigger. Then you know, after a while, when uh, we carry on, we keep on taking pictures of those things, and at last, when we harvest, we got. 20% increase on the weight, just the weight alone per, 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 per grain. Okay. And then after that, we count the, what do you call, uh, the grain per stem. There's an increase of another 20% on the grain count per stem. So this plus this becomes 40%. So the yield is up substantially, but also when I looked at the rice stalks and the rice grain, the grain was more uniform in color, less broken pieces. What's your observation on those points? Right, I've made, taken pictures of those things, of course. Uh, the grain color from the Kiko water is more transparent, which means very good. And uh, uh, broken rice, the broken you know, rice is cut down by 60 to 80% down Meaning, from a, 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 the normal one would be, say, a hundred, but with the Kiko, comes down by up to say sixty percent, meaning forty percent less. So, if I'm a farmer, I see I use this Kiko stones. I put them into the rice field. Do I use, have to use a lot of cartridges, or is it very economical for a a, a rice grower farmer? Initially, I tried this to find out the dosage, the correct dosage, see how much, uh, you know, we can make use of this too. After trying in Thailand, in my farm, uh, one tube, initially I wanted to make for one ride, which is 1,600 square meters. So that's 40 meters by 40 meters. Right. Okay. But after I tried it, I found out that this tube can control up to 4,000 square meters, which is one acre. And what's the reason for that? What's the reason for that? I would say the the emission, the what they call the frequency, that the energy from there travels in the water. The wind blows. It goes with the wind to the other end of the you know field. Okay. So the science behind this is as as the developer of Kiko technology, I'm looking at the science of the stones itself. Diagram, All right. And there's three physical changes that occur. Mm. One is faster frequency, mm -hmm. so obviously you're seeing that. Yes, yes. The sure. second one is there's better or more far infrared energy, which okay. is vital for plant growth. Huh? Okay. And the other one must be absorption. You must have faster absorption, lower surface tension. That is for sure. If not, the, the plant's going to grow faster. Okay. That's so now you'll be able to link the science of Kiko technology relative to your three areas of expertise: wheatgrass, aquatic plants. And rice production. Right, that's for sure. With uh, this thing, uh, we uh, fascinating, very fascinating.